Hey Carson Stoics and fam, how's it going? Coming at you with uh, today's workout. Um, today we have a pretty cool one. We are going to do four Turkish get up. Um, we're going to add some notes in on the, on the workout, uh, but four Turkish get ups and uh, 12 prisoner reverse lunges and then 35 double unders. So let's just go over some of these movements. So for the, the Turkish get up, depending on how much weight you have at home, if you have a lighter weight, you can go four. If you have heavier weight, you can go two reps. But this is what Turkish get up should look like. Let's start with dumbbell. All right, so for Turkish get up, we're gonna make sure that number one, that we're lying down our stance leg, this leg, is going to be the same leg side that we're gonna be holding our weight. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to roll up to our elbow. The whole while we're keeping our eye on this weight and we're locking our arm out, getting our knee on the ground so we're always supported and then standing it up and then once again reversing that down to the ground, hand down, sneaking that leg through, threading the needle, elbow and back down. Okay, so we can use dumbbell, we can use kettlebell and we can always use our odd object and get your clothes clean. Um, so that is Turkish get up. The next movement is the prisoner reverse lunge. This is a great movement because we can do it with any weight that we have at home. We can use again odd object, dumbbell. So let's do kettlebell for this one. So prisoner reverse lunge, we're going to hold our weight behind our back and we are going to reverse lunge. So now we reverse lunge, we're keeping our knee right over our ankle and then driving up with that four foot and we're driving out of our heel. So stepping back and then driving up. All right, so that is our prisoner reverse lunge. So we can also do that with weight behind the back. We could also do it with something like a loaded duffel bag or backpack still holding same position, okay? So in this movement, we're trying to keep good upright right torso, stepping back, our toe slightly in, heel slightly out, it will help lock our hip in place as we ascend from the lunge. Lastly, we are going to do double under. So we always talk about double under and uh, specific cues, like keeping our feet together, bouncing mostly from our ankles, and not from our knees, having a little bit of flexion in the hips, and that we should be keeping and looking at our hands in our peripheral vision, like we are drawing little circles with a dry erase marker on a whiteboard, okay? If you don't have doubles, and you don't want to do doubles, you want to do something else that will help you with agility, we can do line steps. So I'm stepping right over this line, you can also go back and forth with these line jumps. We could also go side to side. So for people out there who play tennis, play pickleball, play basketball, do any uh, athletic endeavor, this is gonna help you with your agility and great sub for adult lenders. So we'll catch you next time, let's get after it.